guys, Casey here, and welcome to my July favorites. I know it's taken me six days, seven, seven days to get this up. Sorry. I know it's taken me seven days to get this up, but it was 4th of July weekend, and I've been at work and busy, and I hope you guys had a wonderful 4th of July, and that it was amazing, because mine was really fun. So during last year, I don't remember much of it because I was still in delirious state from surgery. So, these favorites, they're a lot, but they're kind of easy to talk through. Um, so, let's get into the July favorites. First thing I wanted to talk about that I've been really loving, which I don't actually have because it's a, it's a game, is Sims Free Play for like iPhone, iPad, and like iPod. Um, I'll put, like, a picture somewhere in the video. Um, I am really, really loving this game. It's an updated version of Sims. It's fun. You get to build houses. You get to build different levels of houses. You get to have, like, a whole town, pretty much. And it's pretty amazing. My one and only complaint is that you have these quests, and in quests you have goals, and the goals are in hours, and they're actually real hours. So, like, if you have a goal that's, like, bake a croissant is one of them. It's like 17 hours. So that really means that for 17 hours, you're like, that sim can't play. And unless you have multiple sims to, and, and, and you won't be able to move on to the next goal until that one is complete. So for 17 hours, you can't really advance in the game. That's the only downfall. There are some where it's like 36 hours. And I'm like, okay, I really don't want to not play this game for like two days. So that is Sims Free Play, and that is my only complaint. But otherwise, the game is really fun, and I've been loving it. Second, that I don't have a physical thing of, is a TV show that I've been loving, and that's Gilmore Girls. I have most of the seasons somewhere packed away, and they're all on Netflix. But with the Gilmore Girls revival coming soon, hopefully, I have been kind of like going back and rewatching some of my favorite episodes from different seasons, and it's made me really like, we fall in love with characters, so that has been on my top-watched Netflix, because it's seasons one through seven, and I'm still obsessed with that show, so I highly recommend it. The next thing is a piece of clothing that you probably have seen me wear, but I'm not sure. It's my Harry Potter t-shirt that I got at Hot Topic, and it says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good, and then it has the classic little footprints from the movie on it. And I only wish this said mischief managed, like, on the back or dot, dot, dot under this. But, you know, this is probably one of my favorite shirts. It's comfy, it's slouchy, and it just fits really well. It's kind of baggy. So it's one of my all-time favorite shirts to wear. Other piece of clothing that I've been loving is this cute little romper. It's short romper. It's from Old Navy and it buttons in the front and it's meant for like sleeping. I think so it's in like their sleeper department. But I mean, I've worn it out a few times with like a t-shirt. Not a t-shirt, but like a tank top under it. But I've been really loving it. I love the black. They do have it in gray and then it has a tie for the waist and just little cute shorts. So that has been one of my other clothing items that I've been kind of rocking religiously lately. Last clothing item is this. I finally got the courage slash nerve, not courage, but I finally decided to do it. It's my Smile More t-shirt. If you don't know Smile More, um, it is the company run by Roman Atwood, um, who is a like amazing YouTuber and prankster and daily vlogger. And I watch his stuff religiously. Like, every day I watch his vlogs. Um, so I got the shirt. I ordered another one because they have a new one coming out that's, like, splatter painted. But this is my one right now. And it's the classic logo with the smile on it. Yay. Um, continuing with YouTubers, I picked this up. And I have, uh, I have been enjoying it. 
And it is the Casper Lee by Casper Lee and Emily Reardon Lee. And it's Casper Lee's book. And again, if you don't know Casper Lee, he's a YouTuber and I am obsessed with YouTuber books. It's massive, guys. It is a big, it's just a, it is a big book. It's wide and it's heavy. And it is fun to read because it's kind of like a memoir. But if you look at the pages, like I'll show you a little bit. Like, if you look at the pages, there's, like, highlighted stuff and stuff, like, written in the margins. So you do kind of have to pay attention to what you're reading because otherwise, like, it doesn't really make sense. But if you're willing to pay attention and you're willing to read it, um, I highly recommend it. But the last book that I've been loving, and I was debating not putting this in, guys, um, because I wasn't sure of people's feelings, um, who watch my videos, but I decided that I, I kind of needed to put it in. And it is, um, Jazz Jennings, um, being Jazz, my life as a transgender teen. If you are really, really looking for an intriguing and interesting book, this is the book I would recommend. It has opened... My eyes, and I was already um, a big fan or pro, um, like, like pro freedom, pro LGBTQI laws, because you know what? We're all equal, and and we all love, and we all feel the same, and we all deserve to have. And I know I've said this in other videos. We all deserve to have. Um, people who love us and respect us and just love us as humans and basically at the end of the day we're all human and this book um I think Jazz is what 15 and showed this book and it really opened my eyes to someone who has never who has never really met someone who was a transgender teen I've met transgender people before who were lovely and amazing people and so kind and so nice um, and are really open and welcoming. Um, but being a teenager, you know, her, her experiences and things are different. And she is very much about love. And at the end of the day, that's what it needs to be about. So if you really want a good, interesting read, that book is for you. I've loved it. I've enjoyed reading it. Um, I've recommended it to a bunch of people. So I recommend it. Wow, we're getting down to it. Sweet. Okay, I picked these up after seeing these in a video. And I've had some loves and some hates with them. Um, and it is a makeup product. Um, and it's my only one for this video. And that is the NYX or NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. And I got them in these three colors. Red, a pale brown, and a darker brown. And it's... The red is shade... 11. I, th I might have mentioned these in, the in another video and I apologize if I did. Um, this one is 07. I think I did. And this one is 04. Now, these two didn't really look great on me. This one was amazing. Because um, who doesn't love good red lipstick? And again, if I put these in my previous videos, I apologize. Sometimes I re-love things. But right now, and the lighter one is okay. The shade is okay. The, uh, Shade 07 is okay, but I don't know. Tan, I thought would look okay, but on me, it's all about the red. So, oh, okay. Another good thing, this is gonna be really hard to see if I'm gonna put it really close. This is the Locatan, Locatan, and it is, it, and it's the cream pieds, and it's foot cream. Now, this might be really, really weird for you to talk about foot creams in this video, and by the way, it smells really good. Um, but if you're someone like me, I am constantly on my feet, and I'm barefoot a lot of the day um, at work or in socks, and, and it tends to dry your feet out. And I just find that if you put this on like a little dry patch, it helps kind of like add moisture. Um, so I have like a few of these. Um, they're quite expensive. But I think it's worth it because a little bit of this goes a long way. So, um, just a little bit. I, I love that. Just two things. Um, the first one is this Vera Bradley iPad case in this cute little black and white pattern. It's squishy. Um, it's an iPad mini case. 
And I have a smart card on my iPad, but I don't have any way to protect it when I travel and I can put it in a backpack. So I saw this and I was like, I love it. I love the pattern. I love that it's black and white. And it's padded and it just does a lot of um, protecting. I also picked up this cute shoulder bag. It is the Vera Bradley Hipster. And it's the black microfiber. And it's the classic kind of like quilted prints. Um, you can either put it over one shoulder or across. I usually put it across body. Um, and it's quite spacious. You got a really nice big pocket here where I have my keys. Um, and there's a really big um, inward pocket. And you have a few pockets on the inside. And while I'm at it, I also picked up a new wallet holder that has my ID. And it holds everything that I could need my debit card, my insurance card, and it's a cute little summery floral pattern. I had a darker one, but like this side completely ripped. Um, so I've been enjoying that. Um, wow. That was everything. That was the video. I hope you guys loved my favorites. Like always, if you have any questions, any comments, if you liked some of these and want to know where to get them. Um, I believe the two books I got at Barnes and Nobles, the lipsticks I got at Target, um, the thing, the bags I got at Beer Badly, um, some of the clothes I got at Old Navy and Hot Topic, I think, and online. Um, but if you have any questions, if you've liked any of these, please leave a comment below. Follow me on social media, uh, my Twitter and my Tumblr and my Snapchat and my other vlogging channel. I will put links in the description below. And if you want to, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I hope you guys have a great night and a great rest of the weekend. And I hope you guys had a very safe and great 4th of July. Bye.